तो एक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन में थिंग कॉल्ड टू स्पेशल केसेस ठीक है वो हमने पढ़ लिया था कि हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट वेज कैन वी राइट द राइट द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन अच्छा वन थिंग इज के अच्छा एक तो ग्रुप वाइज आई जस्ट आई जस्ट आर्ट के when you have transition metals theek hai we did uh, so we're going to do two special cases which are so these two special cases are uh, chromium and uh, chromium and copper the reason i'm calling them two special cases is ke their electronic configuration is slightly different then what you get from the off bob principle uh for example if you look at copper uh if you follow the off bob principle copper is 29 electrons so that means it's 1s2 2s2 uh 2p6 then you've got uh, 3s2 ठीक है 3p6 then you have 4s2 and then you have uh, 3d9 ठीक है दैट्स दैट इज व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इफ यू फॉलो द ऑफ पॉप प्रिंसिपल और उसके अंदर एंड के अंदर यू व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू डू इज यू यू गोइंग टू चेंज स्विच द पोजीशंस ऑफ ऑफ दीस टू ठीक है सो एंड फोर इज टू सो चेंज द पोजीशंस ऑफ ऑफ व्हाटएवर यू हैव एट द एंड उसको ऑर्डर में थर्ड शेल एंड देन फोर्थ शेल ऑन द आउटसाइड अच्छा एनीवेज सो फॉर कॉपर रिमेंबर दिस दिस इज व्हाट यू गेट फ्रॉम द ऑफ पर प्रिंसिपल बट दिस इज नॉट कॉपर्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन उसका जो एंड है ना इट्स एक्चुअली 3d10 एंड इट्स आई मीन द द एक्चुअल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन इज 3d10 एंड 4s1 सो इट्स नॉट एग्जैक्टली फॉलोइंग द ऑफ पर प्रिंसिपल ठीक है सो मेक श्योर डू दिस करेक्शन ठीक है और रिमेंबर दिस uh so it does not follow off bob exactly as a off bob exactly theek hai bilkul exactly follow nahi karega and then there's uh, this chromium as well theek hai that also does not all the these are not the only elements that uh, off bob principle ye tha na ki the electrons have to be filled in this order that uh, that you're going to have 1s then 2s then 2p then 3s then cp 4s 3d right but some elements will not follow that exactly and copper is one of them theek okay, hai so you have to remember you have to you got to remember copper's case i say and then you've got uh, chromium as well that's also important uh, chromium ke andar you've got 24 electrons so instead uh, so the electronic configuration is going to be 1s2 2s2 i say you're going to have 2p6 uh, and then you have 3s2 and 3p6 and you'll have uh 3d uh 3d spell of 4s fellow there so you'll have you'll have 4s and then you'll have 3d4 okay after writing the electronic configuration i'm just going to correct the order which is uh is what how get kar the same 3d4 has to be on this side and you got 4s2 acha anyways uh for this as well remember it's not exactly following the off bob principle it's actually 3d5 instead of 3d4 it's actually 3d5 or 4s when the taxi one theek hai the number of explanations for that none of them is actually sufficient uh, it's just that this is what the electronic configuration is theek hai you just have to remember this theek hai clear in do ka akhir end mein you have to remember this is that clear yes sir So I guess I guess uh, uh, we're done with uh, we're done with the uh, electronic configuration. I'll just uh, ek minute, minute. I'll just I'll just draw a pure table, which is as uh, so it just tells you this is what the pure table looks like. You got uh, see this is this is approximately how the pure table looks like. Group one, two, then uh, you've got transition metals. I said these these ones over here are S block elements. ठीक है, the known as S block. Uh, the ones in the middle, uh, they're known as uh, based on the electronic configuration. They're known as D block. 
And the ones on the extreme right, these are known as your P block. TK, these ones are known as uh, as P block elements. And the reason I'm 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 talking about this is okay, uh, we've already did did this. Uh, the reason you call them P block and D block and S block elements is that the last electron actually goes into an S. This one, the last electron goes into a D. This one, the last electron fills into a goes into a P. If you have a group seven, right? The group seven will always end up with P5. Or group six will always end up with P4. So group 13 to 18, these are called P block elements. Uh, all the last electron actually goes into a P. Which are pele though groups and they're, they're your S block elements. And if you have a transition metal, then the transition metal would always, uh, where's the transition metal? Well, the last electron is actually always going into a D. Okay, so that's, that's what a transition metal block is. You clear? You about be clear? Yes, sir. Okay, now we do pass papers. Okay, let's do the So let's uh, do the pass papers. Now, um, that's atomic section is subtopic wise. Let's see, copy it, but I'll make it so that we have the answers as well. Just one second. Share this one. I said we're going to start with the first of the basic questions. Okay, so we we're just going to go over them quickly. I said a subtopic wise. Let's start with uh, just uh, proton, neutron, electrons. Take the first initial questions. Uh, pretty sure they're the very easy. K. Uh, you levels You just have to figure out. Uh, for example, the first one: neutrons are passed through an electric field. The mass of one neutron is relative to one twelfth the mass of carbon twelve, and any deflection in the electric field is recorded. So, mass of neutron is uh, relative. Relative mass is one, and it is. It is obviously. It's obviously not. I said this one is obviously not deflected, right? In which pair do both atoms contain the same number of neutrons? That's very basic as well. The same number of neutrons, uh, 14, uh, probably, uh, probably, okay, you have to write the proton number, that's three. This one is, uh, billium is four. Uh, boron is five and carbon is six. So I think it's, it's this one. It's, it's going to be A. Uh, same. They've got the same neutrons. But pure table colo, find out the proton number. Uh, we've got this one. Uh, he's saying that this thing is an isotope, is mentally useful, and it undergoes a natural radioactive process to give an isotope of a different element. The so GE is, uh, he's saying it's 68. And uh, do we have a pair table? We have a pair table. So 68, I guess, is kind of pair table. I said, so GE is 68 germanium. That's uh, the proton number. That's 32, right? I said, remember, this number changes. You get you have isotopes, right? So he's talking about a radioactive isotope, which is 68. Uh, the proton number for uh, germanium is always uh, fixed. It's 32 given over here. So if it's if it's 32, right? Okay, okay. It changes. It undergoes radioactive process to give an isotope of a different element where it's X and it's 68. And um, this transformation of G occurs when an electron enters the nucleus and changes a proton into a neutron. So this is what happens. He's saying that a proton, what does it do? It changes to a it, it changes to a neutron, right? This is what he clearly stated that the transformation of germanium 
when an electron enters the nucleus and changes a proton into a neutron so a proton changes into a neutron so germanium ka pehle kar lete hain how many how many protons it's got it's got 32 protons and it's got uh, how many neutrons right it's got uh, 36 36 that's what 68 minus 32 that's 36 neutrons right so he said that a proton changes to a neutron so this x will have 31 protons and the proton changes to a neutron so it's going to be 37 neutrons isliye the the uh, you're getting the same uh, atomic mass uh, nucleon number that's 31 plus 37 still gives you 68 ab ye aapke paas which statement about the composition of this is correct uh, it has four electrons in its outer shell acha ye clear hai ye baat yahan tak clear hai is this clear graph is clear hai बेसिकली सो So we're dealing with gallium. Gallium is group three. What is the electronic configuration of group thirteen? Now, uh, group thirteen's electronic configuration. But the thirty-one, some have idea laga liye. Okay, it's in it's in group thirteen, right? And we know that we have ne kya tha. Group thirteen electronic configuration is S two P one, right? Any element in group thirteen is going to be S two and P one. So the first statement is definitely incorrect. It has four electrons and it's outer P orbital. That's wrong. It just has one. You clear? You are clear? Yes. Acha, fair. It's got thirteen uh, electrons in its outer shell. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, it's got three electrons. Group thirteen. It's got three electrons, right? So that one is wrong. Uh, it has thirty-seven neutrons. Yep, that's that's correct. Thirty-seven. What are neutrons? What are the bad? That's that is correct. Okay. So this. I mean, so remember, it's a, it's a basic question. But they they're going to ask you if they give you a difficult. I mean, they can give you a difficult question where they can they can make it uh, very very tricky as well. ठीक है अच्छा अब ये के sodium azide is an explosive used to whatever it does. Uh, what are the number of electrons in the sodium ion and the azide ion? So. So sodium ion may electrons and azide ion. So you got Na and N three. I said, can can you tell me uh, the charge on the azide ion? What is the azide ion? I mean, we know that this is the sodium ion, right? So azide ion is going to be this other one, right? It's sodium azide. So azide is going to be N three. What will be the charge on this N three? It's going to be minus one, right? Is that clear? Can is plus one, N three is minus one. Clear? Yes, Acha, ab ye ke sodium ion electrons. Sodium is eleven, right? But it's plus one, so it's got ten electrons, right? So, so it, it clearly has ten electrons. Now, N three. What does? How many electrons does one N have? It's it's got seven electrons. You got three N, so that's seven electrons plus seven electrons. So that's a total of. Uh, fourteen electrons. Ani kitha hoga? Seven, seven, seven. That's twenty-one electrons, right? So that's twenty-one electrons plus it's got a negative charge on it. So that means there's one extra electron as well. So the total number of electrons is going to be twenty-two. So the answer is answer is B. Is clear? Yes, sir. Acha, ab ye ke the relative MR of a particular sample of chlorine is seventy-two. Which property of the atoms in the sample will be the same for all the atoms? Hmm. The relative MR of a particular sample of chlorine is seventy-two. I mean, chlorine is Cl two, right? So, okay, chlorine is seventy-two. So, which property of the atoms in the sample will be the same for all the atoms? Um. So, remember, I said, does anyone know uh, how many isotopes does chlorine have? We didn't do isotopes, but uh, but we didn't do. 
we didn't do a mass spectroscopy but is any general knowledge hai ki chlorine ke isotopes kaun se hote hain i said remember chlorine in the i said remember chlorine uh, ka jo wo hai na it's uh, where is chlorine it's 35.5 right actually there is no chlorine 35.5 there's uh, chlorine has a has a lot of isotopes theek hai so google kar lete hain theek hai Uh, there two main isotopes one is 35 the, the other one is 37 two neutrons kind of there's a difference of two neutrons uh so wikipedia the isotopes of chlorine ha ye acha ek atom ke na bahut sare isotopes hote hain but they some of them are abundant so you can you can have a look chlorine uh, i mean there's chlorine 28 as well theek hai uh isme na uh, wo bhi diya hoga abundance so this is almost non existent uh chlorine 34 right chlorine 34 is non almost non existent i mean it does exist maybe a few atoms on planet earth but very very rare as if a chlorine 35 uh look at chlorine 35 it's uh uski abundance kya that's approximately 75% 0.75 out of 1 right it's 75% and then there is uh, chlorine 37 chlorine 37 is approximately 25% okay so you, so basically the element chlorine is actually made up of two isotopes baki sare almost non existent you even have chlorine um, 52 as well okay you got chlorine 52 uski half life dekho look at the half life it's a, it's a nanosecond yani ye banega ekdam se gayab ho jayega it's it's just going to decay very rapidly it's 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 going to happen so quickly like most of these isotopes the reason they don't exist is ke kuch second ke liye ke andar hi to gayab ho jayenge like cl42 it disappears or decays in 6.8 seconds right uh to inki like ye stable hai chlorine 35 that's stable doesn't really decay theek hai just maintains its state i say anyways we same times i got this man what is important is chlorine has two isotopes one is cl35 and the other one is cl 37 theek hai hum aage ja ke na detail mein padhenge when we do mass spectroscopy right now we have done that i said now if the chlorine molecule has a mass of 72 what does that mean if the chlorine molecule has a mass of 70 72 jisme kaun se wale chlorine pade hain are both of them 35 or both of them 37 or one of them is 35 and the other one is 37 क्या होगा ठीक है सो द ओनली वे यू कैन गेट 72 इज दैट यू हैव बोथ आइसोटोप्स वन इज 35 एंड वन ऑफ देम इज 37 दे आर बॉन्डेड टुगेदर अच्छा सो न्यूक्लियोस दोनों में डिफरेंट होगा सो व्हाट व्हिच प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द एटम्स इन दिस सैंपल विल बी द सेम द न्यूक्लियो नंबर विल ऑब्वियसली बी डिफरेंट बिकॉज़ वन इज 35 द अदर वन इज 37 द आइसोटोपिक मास इज आल्सो गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट वन इज गोइंग टू बी हेवी द अदर वन इज गोइंग टू बी लाइट रेडियस जो होगा ना वो सारों का एक ही होगा क्योंकि दे हैव एग्जैक्टली द सेम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन 70 इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दिस वन विल आल्सो हैव 70 इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ठीक है दे विल हैव द सेम आउटर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन दे विल हैव द सेम केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज मास डिफरेंट होगी ठीक है ये भी क्लियर है द आंसर टू दिस वन इज वन ओनली द रेडियस ठीक है अच्छा दिस वन व्हाई 3 1 कंटेंस अच्छा रिमेंबर दीस क्वेश्चंस आर काइंड ऑफ लाइक रियली बेसिक लेकिन वो देखा होगा लेवल थोड़ा सा ना वो लेवल्स के मुकाबले इट्स स्लाइटली हायर नाउ ठीक है सो वाई सी माइनस वन वाई सी माइनस वन इट कंटेन्स एटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आई दैट्स व्हाट द क्वेश्चन सेट्स एंड इट हैज अ मास नंबर ऑफ थर्टी वन तो थर्टी वन इज द मास नंबर राइट हाउ मेनी प्रोटॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स डज वाई सी माइनस वन कंटेन फर्स्ट थिंग एन एटम ऑफ वाई हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल दैट हैव मतलब इसके ओरिजिनल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ठीक है इट्स गोइंग टू बी इट्स गोइंग टू बी 15 राइट क्योंकि 18 तो तीन गेन करने के बाद आया ना तो दैट मींस ओरिजिनली इट हैड 15 सो ओरिजिनली द प्रोटॉन नंबर वाज प्रोटॉन नंबर वाज 15 राइट एंड इफ यू कैलकुलेट द डिफरेंस दैट्स 16 सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी ए क्लियर है यस अच्छा फिर ये वाला कर लेते हैं कि The number of protons, neutrons, electrons are all different. Guess again, which one? Uh, this one is not sixteen. Uh, I mean, this one is sixteen protons, sixteen neutrons. Right? So, this is different. Not. 
this one is 15. It's neutral, so it's 15 protons and 15 electrons. It's obviously not different. It's still very different. It's uh, 10 electrons and uh, 11 protons and uh, I guess 12 neutrons, right? So it's it's going to be B for this one. I said this one. Now, this one is an interesting question. What question? Okay, beams of charged particles are deflected by an electric field in identical conditions. The angle of deflection of a particle is proportional to its charge to mass ratio. I said, so what is happening is you got, I said, you got an, you got an electric field. So let's say you got a positive plate on top and you have a negative plate at the bottom. Or, what's it? I say you got you got a positive plate and you got a negative plate. In an experiment, protons are deflected by an angle of 15 degrees. So imagine uh, okay, protons are flying between these plates constantly. So imagine protons are moving between the plates and they're deflected by an angle of 15 degrees. Okay, so so they get deflected by an angle of they were supposed to go straight, right? So, but right now they're making an angle of 15 degrees. Is that clear? Yes. Sir. So, so what did he say? He said that the uh, that the deflection of a particle depends uh, on its charge to mass ratio. That makes sense. Okay, deflection. is proportional to charge over mass. You get heavier particle, so it's, uh, it's not going to get deflected that much. It's, it's going to be inversely proportional. Uh, greater charge, it's going to be more deflected, right? So that makes perfect sense. Proton ka charge to mass ratio, kya hai? That's, uh, for proton, the charge to mass ratio is 1 ratio 1, right? It's got a plus 1 charge, it's got a mass of 1, right? I said, now he's saying that there's another experiment under identical conditions. There's a particle Y and it's deflected by an angle of minus five degrees. So there's some other particle, which we don't know what that is, but it, it got deflected at an angle of minus five degrees. So I'm, that means it must be going in the other direction. Okay, okay, proton 15 degrees, it's going in the minus five degree direction, right? So the question is, uh, what is Y? I mean, that's that's basically the question. Okay. So, first of all, let me tell you the amount of deflection. Uh, for a proton, the charge to mass ratio was one over one, right? Remember, the deflection depended depends on the charge to mass ratio. Look at the deflection of y. The deflection of y is three times lesser. What is the charge to mass ratio of uh, Y? Or deflection, they go 5 degree or 15 degree. So 3 times this. And deflection is proportional to charge to mass ratio. So the deflection is 3 times less, right? But a deflection is 3 times less, right? So that means the charge to mass ratio would also be 3 times less, right? Okay, proton comparison may uh, the deflection is three times less. So if the deflection is three times less, the charge to mass ratio will, would also be three times less. This comes up why can the charge to mass ratio would come out to be one over three. It's not going to be one over one, it's going to come out to be one over three. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yeah, one one by one, tha, this would be one by three. Why? Because deflection or the angle of deflection is proportional to charge to mass ratio. Deflection, if it decreases three times, so the charge to mass ratio would also be less than less by three times, right? One by one, then one by three. Is the rest Yes. Okay, so now Okay. Okay. Plus, one by three. Any charge to mass ratio plus 
वॉट वुड बी द चार्ज ऑन वाई प्लस होगा माइनस होगा Is it going to be a positive part? It's going to be minus, right? Because it's going in the other direction, right? So, so its charge will be opposite. Over. So, let's start with the first one: charge to mass ratio. Particle number one, option number one. Uh, what is mass? Is it particle number one? What is the mass of this thing? Three. it is 3 because remember electron ki electron doesn't really have a mass right it's uh, so the mass so the mass is 3 what is the charge on this thing negative 1 okay it's going to be negative 1 right it's uh, it's got one extra electron so minus 1 by 3 wo theek hai ki wo 1 by 1 tha the minus 1 by 3 so that means the first particle will have a deflection it will exactly because the charge is negative so that makes sense it's going to go in the opposite direction but the but the deflection would be three times less so that makes perfect sense what about the second particle uska kya hoga six and the charge is negative 2 and it's negative 2 right so it's still minus 1 by 3 right so that will also go in the towards the positive side and its deflection will be c times less aakhri ka banta hai ki nahi banta it's uh, what do you get for the last one so one and two are correct last one kya ban raha hai that's um it's mm. a positive three charge hai aur mass nine hai okay you're getting plus one by One by three, right? That will not be true because uh, if you, if it's positively charged, it's got a positive charge. So it will go down. Okay, it's not going to go upwards. So, so that one is wrong. Third wrong. Is this question understood? Yes, sir. So, I remember yes. You boy, it's kind of bother. What do you say? For for yes, you have to practice a lot of questions. Okay. मतलब क्वेश्चंस का लेवल थोड़ा सा वो होगा इवन बहुत बेसिक मतलब इट्स इट्स आई मीन इसमें क्या है प्रोटॉन न्यूट्रॉन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बट इट्स इवन दोस क्वेश्चंस आर काइंड ऑफ वेरी ट्रिकी आई गेस यू विल बी एबल टू फिगर आउट दिस वन ऑन योर ओन ये वाला कर लेते हैं आई थिंक दिस लुक्स कंफ्यूजिंग व्हेन न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शंस टेक प्लेस द एलिमेंट्स प्रोड्यूस प्रोड्यूस आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द एलिमेंट्स दैट रिएक्टेड ठीक है सो एलिमेंट्स दैट रिएक्टेड एंड एलिमेंट्स दैट आर प्रोड्यूस न्यूक्लियर इक्वेशंस सच एज द वन बिलो आर यूज्ड टू रिप्रेजेंट द changes the nuclear number total is constant at 236 as okay the nuclear nucleon mass number total is constant at 236 and the proton number is constant at uh, 92 uh, in another reaction is reacted and an isotope of a new element j is formed as well as two neutrons okay so what is isotope j as i said so he's saying okay is reaction mein ye this reaction over here uh that the nuclear number remains constant and the proton number total is also constant uh and there's another reaction going on to so, nuclear number and proton number is constant so what i'm assuming is ke ab wo total ki baat kar raha hai what is the total over here that's 238 plus 2 so the nuclear number is uh, is 240 Two thirty-eight plus two—that's two hundred forty, right? And the total proton number total is constant as well. So that's ninety-two uh, plus one—that's ninety-three. Uh, yeah. So the other side will be this. You know, say you should have. I mean, total at the end of the day, you should have two forty nuclear number, and you should have ninety-three uh, as the as the proton number. Remember, I'm just following this statement over here. Okay. So what is J then? Uh, two neutrons. So that means nuclear number. Me se kya nikal den? Uh, we should remove uh, uh, two out of it. So J ke upar kya ho gaya? You, you'll be left with two thirty eight. As a J, the top of J will be two thirty eight, and uh, bottom pe kya ho gaya? There's uh, it's just going to be. It's just going to be ninety-three because the neutron does not have any proton number, right? So the proton number total over here is zero, and over here, so the total should come out to be ninety-three. So it's going to be ninety-three. T 
ठीक है मैं उसने क्वेश्चन में ये कहा था कि भाई जो टोटल वट एवर द टोटल न्यूक्लियो नंबर इज एंड द प्रोटो नंबर टोटल इज कॉन्स्टेंट तो इफ यू हैव अ टोटल ऑफ टू फोर्टी एंड नाइनटी थ्री प्रोटो नंबर ओवर हेयर द टोटल ओवर हेयर शुड ऑल्सो बी द सेम so i just figured out what j is and j is 93 so i how do you identify elements you identify elements based on the proton number so go to data booklet 93 pe dekho kya aata hai 93 is uh, 93 uh niche aa gaya 93 will be np it's neptunium that's that's np so ka gaya question So it's going to be NP and it's going to be NP with the nuclear number of two thirty-eight. Is this question clear? Remember, this is a common sense question. There was nothing, no prior knowledge was needed for this. All you had to do was apply this. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Sir. Acha or ki radioactive. Which statement were the phosphide ion and the chloride ion are correct? It's ah uh, this is fifteen. This one is seventeen. Uh, They both have the same number of electrons, right? Eighteen uh, and eighteen, right? They have the same number of neutrons, I think. Do they have thirty-one minus fifteen, sixteen? Thirty-five minus seventeen. That's ah, uh, what is that? Thirty-five minus seventeen. That's. I don't think these two are correct. Eighteen. Ha. Huh. What different? Eh? I said, what else? Ah. Uh, okay. How many? How many electrons? Hang on, get electron. Acha, so now he's saying, "Okay, how many electrons are present in the hydrogen carbonate ion?" Now you you, are, you should either remember it or by looking at the formula, you should know that it's eight CO three with a charge of minus one. So hydrogen atom has one electron, the carbon atom has a total of six electrons, and the oxygen atom has how uh, many? Eight. It's got eight electrons and the three oxygen atoms, so that's uh, eight into three. So this is the total number of electrons, and it's got a minus one charge. That means uh, the whole thing has one extra electron. So how much did you get? Twenty-four plus six. That's thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two. So C is your C is going to be your answer. ठीक है. Or uh, which species contains the smallest number of electrons? Uh, this one, I think. Helium two होता है ना. So it's got just one electron. Helium is four, two electrons. Boron is five, three plus. That's okay. Is there any answer to this one? Although this one is a simple question as well. Uh, which ion? You you given three ions: hydroxide, O D minus one, H C O plus one, and D minus one. Okay, D K D is an isotope of hydrogen. You got two isotopes of hydrogen. You got one one and you got two one, right? Nucleon, nucleon is different, right? Can somebody tell me which ion has both more electrons than protons and more protons than neutrons? क्या होगा इसका? अच्छा अगर वो कह रहा है कि the ion has more electrons than protons, which one gets eliminated automatically? If the ion has more electrons than protons, what does that mean? Okay, us that something being said is not an atom. No, no, what the? Okay, no, that doesn't mean that an atom can have. I mean, okay, it's, it's not an atom, right? What is it? If it's got more electrons than protons, if something has more electrons than protons, is it a positive ion or is it a negative ion? Negative ion. ऑक्सीजन को देखो लुक एट ऑक्सीजन इट्स 
सो ये जो नॉर्मल ऑक्सीजन है ना दैट्स दैट्स एट प्रोटॉन्स एंड एट न्यूट्रॉन्स आई वो कह रहे हैं कि इट्स सपोज्ड टू हैव मोर प्रोटॉन्स देन न्यूट्रॉन्स यू कांट हैव दैट विद ऑक्सीजन राइट लुक एट हाइड्रोजन ओवर हियर दिस डी ये जो ड्यूट्रियम है ना डी इट्स गॉट वन प्रोटॉन एंड वन इलेक्ट्रॉन and look at the normal hydrogen the normal hydrogen has one proton and zero neutrons right so if you look at the three substance three atoms that make up all of these ions the only way you can have more protons than neutrons is ki uske andar kaun si cheez ho ye dono hone ka to fayda koi nahi hai you will have the same number of protons and electron beech mein you like there this is neutron right it's supposed to have h in it Okay, it's supposed to have H in it, so the answer is going to be it's going to be D. The only way you can have more protons than neutrons is if you have H in it. Is that clear? Yes. Ah, uh, because H ke bagayar na you can't have more protons than neutrons. Ah, uh, O ke pas equal number of protons and neutrons, and D ke pas equal number of protons and neutrons. So the whole thing will have equal number of protons and neutrons. D has equal number of protons and neutrons. So Uh, सिर्फ एच के अंदर ना सो द मॉलिक्यूल मस्ट हैव एच इन इट चलो इसी तरह का कोई ढूंढ ले और कोई uh, ये तो आसान खुद ही करते रहो ये इलेक्ट्रॉन नेगेटिव तो किया ही नहीं है वन सेकेंड अच्छा सो दिस क्वेश्चन आई डू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल दो वी डन मैथ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी राइट Um, we will get some aspects, so we haven't done that. Uh, this one is kind of which of these diagrams are correct? Oh, one and two. You get three by three. Got that. Um, these are be uh, atomic theory. John Dalton's. Okay, it uh, contains four predictions about atoms. Which of these predictions still considered to be correct? Still, these are the four predictions. Atoms are very small in size. Which of these predictions still considered to be correct? I think the first one is correct. I mean, the first one looks correct. The second one is definitely wrong. Atoms, no atom can be split into simpler parts. We've figured out we can split it into many simpler parts: protons, neutrons, electrons. Let's go further. Split it into leptons or quarks, or you can split it into smaller and smaller pieces. All the atoms of a particular element have the same mass. No, they don't have the same mass. You've got lots of isotopes. Uh, Uh, all the atoms of one element are different in mass from all the atoms of the other elements no two atoms can have the same mass theek hai proton number so two elements can have the same mass remember the proton number is always fixed how do you ye cheez yaad rakhna bahut a lot of people get confused nitrogen jo element hai na all nitrogen atoms will have seven protons that's the only thing that's fixed इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैन बी लॉस्ट एंड गेन न्यूट्रॉन्स कैन बी एडेड एंड दे कैन बी लॉस्ट राइट सो जो ऊपर मैथ होती है ना दैट कुड बी एनी नंबर ऑल दो नाइट्रोजन का जो स्टेबल आइसोटोप है दैट्स फोर्टीन राइट बट इट कुड बी फिफ्टीन इट कुड बी सिक्सटीन इट कुड बी यू कुड हैव यू कैन जस्ट गूगल नाइट्रोजन आइसोटोप्स वैसे मैं वैसे गूगल करूँगा जस्ट मॉडल्स के कितने ढेर आइसोटोप्स ढूंढ चुके हैं नाइट्रोजन के सो सो यू कैन सी के It's almost twenty-five. Nitrogen by having a mass of twenty-five, you've found that one as well, right? Twenty-two, twenty-one, nineteen, seventeen. Uh, subset other concept, the stable one, that's fourteen. Ninety-nine point. This is ninety-nine point five percent of all nitrogen atoms is the stable one. It's fourteen. Fifteen, we throw about milta. But in fifteen, you just percent that's uh, that's very less. That's like point uh, point three percent, I think. So fifteen, thoda kam hi milega. Itna zada nahi milega. So, anyways, elements. Remember, I I are identified by the by the proton number. The mass could change, and and two different elements can have the same mass. Just like nitrogen ka jo isotope hai na, sixteen. Oxygen ki bhi yehi mass hoti hai. Oxygen ka jo stable isotope hai, that also has the same mass. Uh, that is also sixteen. But the proton number are different. So, ठीक है, ये clear है question. पहला सब टॉपिक मैं मैं जल्दी से थ्रू कर कि कोई ये तरह का क्वेश्चन दोबारा रिपीट हो रहा है 
two contain the same number of electrons. Uh, you can just go and have a look. It's going it's to definitely be C yoga. They all have 10 electrons. Uh, so, Baki simply you know, Kalam Pena, ye, ye kar let's end this one just very quickly. What could be the composition of H3 plus 1, right? So, pehle to H ki ka composition hoti hai. H is, uh, what is H? H is uh, 1, 1, right? So, that means it's got one proton, it's got one electron, and it's got zero neutrons, right? So, that's what H is. So, it's got three H, and it's got to be there's going to be one proton, there's going to be another proton, and there's going to be another proton, right? I said neutrons, how about zero? Zero neutrons for the first eight, zero neutrons, zero neutrons. Electrons, uh, each one will have one electron, right? And since it's got a plus one charge, so that means one electron is lost. So it's going to have three protons and two electrons and uh, no neutrons, okay? Chalo see ye ab kal karte hain, theek hai? Aur abhi iska bata is sub topics and we'll do the next one. This is just about proton, neutrons, electrons. This one. Ye main bhej hoon, theek hai? Group pe. Okay sir. Chalo. Okay sir. Okay, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.